Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome in. Carolina Moonbeam here, Psychic Medium. Uh, this is your weekly reading uh, the, uh, for the week starting the 16th of August. Okay, this is Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, I just want to say, hey, thank you so much for returning. And if you're here for the first time, my name is Carolina Moonbeam, and I'm a psychic medium. Okay, so I have a guide with me. Her name is Josephine, so you will hear me refer to her, uh, my Josephine. She gives me messages. So I was sitting here, uh, as she was giving me some me messages for you. Um, I have the overall energy feels uh, the feeling is uh, just easy uh, flowy calm you know just easy energy nothing really really tough here um, so I've got also the messages that came through she was saying what would I what would I do without you what would you do without me <laughs> bond there's a bonding there's somebody that you're bonding with okay this this is love relationship and any spiritual messages that want to come through so we'll see what comes out um could be a friend a, a new partner somebody that you're already with you could be bonding um a, to a higher level okay uh, I also got a flat line, which uh, is, is means that uh, if you're asking spirit about something, spirit is letting you know um, that if you want to, if you want to do it, if you want to go, if you want to try that, if you want, uh, it's completely up to you. Okay. All right. And then I pulled a couple um, magic sticks. These are Carolina moon, moon magic sticks okay where i put my energy into these and i got two one says wait for it dot 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 okay which is um you know what that means is wait for some information if there's something that that is coming to you it's like wait for it something's going to be happening and then i got next week next week so i'm feeling like wait for it something's happening next week something's going down something's coming something you know you know time is fluid so you know this could be happening now or there's something significant that could be coming in next week it could be information that's coming in now about next week or you know something like that okay my loves all right, so let's get into the tarot. I'm going to pull the Wisdom of the Oracle card and see what's coming. What's, what's happening for our beautiful Leos? All righty. Bonding. Solidify. Hmm, that just came. Okay, so something is is literally bonding to to something or to another person. Your your heart's this something's changing, changing in your relationship. It's uh, becoming a a you know two people becoming one. Uh, there's there's no separate. There's like that. That's what I'm hearing. All right, my loves, here we go. Come to the edge. <laughs> if you're thinking about doing something out of the ordinary or um, out of your comfort zone, Spirit says go for it. Come to the edge. Uh, this also speaks about a higher level, okay? Uh, you can see that she's up here you know, on a higher level here. So this is uh, making me feel like this uh, relationship is going into a space that you've never been before. It's a higher level, a higher bonding, a tighter bond, okay? Fork in the road. Fork in the road. So there's there's a decision that has to be made. Uh, you're coming to a fork in the road and you're like, well, if I do that, I'm not used to doing that. I don't, I've never done that before. Uh, so you're deciding something. Happy, happy. 
my favorite card. There you go. The joy. It's just everything in your in your environment is working out for you, and that's totally the energy that I'm feeling. I'm not feeling anything uh, intense or uh, anything uh, confusing. Just hey, do whatever you want to do. You know, it's like uh, you've got it. It's yours. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna pull one from the bottom. Co-create. Co-creating. Co-creating with somebody. That bond is deepening. You're co-creating with somebody. Uh, so yeah, there might be a situation where you're at a fork in the road. You could be deciding to marry this person. You could be uh, planning in the beginning stages of planning something with this person. Um, and it's just, it's real happy. It's a real happy time. Wow. Amazing. Okay, we're going to pull the tarot. See what comes, my darlings. See what comes. Okay, here we go. Eight of Wands. Wow. That's you. You're communicating a lot. You're doing a lot of social media, probably. There's somebody that you're communicating a lot with that is, um, you know, friend, a lover. Talking a lot to this person. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with an Aries. Um, yeah, I've got two Capricorn cards here and an Aries. Wow. Wait for it. Wait for it. Uh, speaking is speaking about also. Um, I'm getting this. This is messages about this. Um, because we have the Page of Swords. This is like information gathering. This feels like steady, you know, see the, right here, the book. Like studying, waiting for some information, something to come there. Um, so. You're coming across as the Eight of Wands. You're doing a lot of communication. And then we've got the devil here is the situation. Devil here is the situation. There could be too much, too much, um, too much uh, social media. Too many, too much is what I'm hearing. And we got five of wands um, here for your, you know, for advice from your higher self. So it could be talking about competing, being competitive being uh, competitive in your school. Um, there could be a possibility of maybe some fighting that was going on with somebody. And this is the opportunity, Ten of Swords. So it could be somebody in the family. You could be fighting with somebody in the family. Um, but your higher self wants you to compete, wants you to compete for something. Uh, something that you're going for that that total you know um, you know I want to say your future your your you know like inheritance your family like having that going for that steady uh, nest egg you know something that you're holding back for for a, a for the big picture it's really wanting you to look at the big picture and compete in something um, you have the sun for the, uh, the near future here. <laughs> that's Aries. And that is amazing. I mean, that's beautiful. There's a lot of communication you're talking to in Aries. Totally looks like. Definitely spirit asking you to look at the bigger picture here. 
Okay, looking at you to look farther down the road at the opportunity that's coming. You see this? We've got the world, the devil, 10 of, of pentacles, five of wands. See that? It's like uh, really wanting you to take a peek at the bigger picture and, and maybe back off. It looks like a little bit of social media, like wait for it, wait for something. Um, there's something coming next week. And this is a new cycle. This represents a new cycle. This is Capricorn energy. We have the devil in this is Capricorn energy. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. It's really talking about looking, looking at the big picture for me. Uh, you know, because this is like, look out, you know, look out, look farther, farther away. Mm -hmm. And this is also traveling. There could be some traveling. Um, there could be a competition possibly that you're traveling to. Um, and then we have the Knight of Swords. And this is the person that comes in and, and speaks before they think. You know, this is really quick energy. This is traveling too. I'm, I'm hearing traveling with this card. Uh, the bird is moving. The sky is moving. That motorcycle is running towards that. It, it's like moving. Okay, going fast. So there's a possibility that you could be going somewhere and there's going to be some kind of a, um, opportunity to compete, to really, you know, get yourself ready for that look to that you know because the devil energy here is like you know the temptation of of you know being here in the now and satisfying the moment right well the spirit is is saying look farther out because there's a competition coming and think about that prepare for that um kind of situation and then we have um that's part of the co-creating, co-creating with the universe and thinking ahead, planning, planning ahead. Um, and then we have three of wands and the, the 10 of swords. So you could, you know, that you could be giving up. You, Ten of Swords is, you know, death, you know, like, uh, yeah, I, I'm just really hearing there's too much social, social media. There's something that is taking up too much of your time and it's not allowing you to think about, to see the big picture and look farther, farther down the road at something. Um, and, you know, something that you want to manifest, something that you want to bring about. And you're, you're kind of refusing to see refusing to see it and gather information you know you're 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 like you're preoccupied your brain is just on this other stuff and you're not being able to really see what's coming or what you should be putting your energy into so your energy is just like you know i'll do this i'll do that and you know i don't know and maybe i'll do this you're kind of going with the wind of the day and uh the spirit is wanting you to like hey you know Think about, think about what, think ahead. So you really need to do this. And I know that you don't, you're not thinking about it, but you need to come to the edge because we're getting to a different level here. We're getting to a different level and we're planning something. We're looking ahead. We're co-creating it, you know? Um, wow. Let me take a look at some uh, cards that are happening here. Five of Pentacles. Page of Cups. Wow, justice. Somebody that was out in the cold, okay, is going to be coming to you and offering you, you know, uh, an opportunity. Offering you some love, okay? Offering you a cup of love. And and the justice is, justice is coming in. It's a karmic balance. It's faded. It needs to happen. There needs to be an end to... Uh, whatever kind of possibly, you know, some arguing or misunderstanding, maybe some confusion or something manipulative. This energy is very manipulative, you know, and very in your face manipulative kind of energy. Um, very confused, you know. 
So there could be justice coming in and, and yes, and bringing healing to that. I feel like there's somebody that you might have gotten a disagreement with and they're going to be coming back and, and, and there's going to be some healing in that situation for you. Um, Knight of Pentacles, here's your, your student card, you're, you know, you're walking the line, doing the thing. Also, there could, maybe it's, if you're in school, there could be something going on where, uh, you know, something works out in your favor for maybe something, I don't know, a, a score, something like that. I'm really feeling that with this, wait for it next week, this here, I mean, we've got two school learning cards here, student cards. Um, also feels like the person that there's a healing that could be happening with is, is a relationship that goes all the way. It's, it's going to go all the way. Okay. It's steady. It's going to, it's going to be in your life. Okay. For a long time. So that situation, whatever that was, is going to get worked out. Yeah. Could be a sister. There's, there's three here. This card represents community, friends. Yes. So it's something that has to do with that, y'all. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go over to the extended and, and ask more questions about some of these signs, who's coming in, why they are here, and uh, what we need to know about them, and get some answers for the blocks that are happening right now. All right, my darling. So there you go. Happy week. Love you so much. I'll see you at the extended. The link is below. All right, guys. Bye.